Once your files are imported, you will want to click Tools, Detailed Component Views. ECAD.io will now search its database and propose 3D models it thinks match your components. It may only find a few at first, but it will learn to associate 3D models with certain components the more you use it. If a component still shows up as a simple solid, select the component and click Choose Component Package. If ECAD.io doesn't recognize the component by name or letter designator, it looks at the component's size and in this case, the 28-pin dip is very close in size to the Arduino's U4. In this instance, the component was placed in the correct position, but there are situations where it may need adjusting. Notice the markers denoting the component's 3D position. ECAD.io models generally locate their part origins at pin 1, but some ECAD systems like Eagle may locate their component's origin at its center. You can see that in this dip. The blue cylinder denotes the ecad.io origin at pin 1, but the eagle brd file uses a center origin. If the detailed component landed in the incorrect spot, you would correct it by clicking Package Offset. There you can see that ecad.io has learned the correct offset of this component because I have used it on a previous board. You can still make changes to the offset and easily reset it if the component gets out of place. You may need to repeat this process as you build up your first board, but with each detailed component model you place, ECAD.io learns your preferences and makes recommendations based on where you and other users have positioned similar parts. For instructions on how to export to MCAD, please watch the next video, Exporting to MCAD.